Virginia DMV written test. This road sign means 1. Come to a complete stop. 2. Stop only if other cars are approaching. 3. Reduce your speed. 4. Yield the right of way. The answer is 1. Come to a complete stop. This road sign alerts you to come to a complete stop. A driver transporting anyone younger than age 18 must ensure that the passenger 1. Is properly secured in a safely belt, booster seat, or child safety seat no matter where the child is seated in the vehicle. 2. Is properly secured in the front seat with airbags turned on. 3. Is properly secured in a safely belt, booster seat, or child safety seat in the front seat of the vehicle. 4. Is unbelted. The answer is 1. Is properly secured in a safely belt, booster seat, or child safety seat no matter where the child is seated in the vehicle. The driver and all front seat passengers must wear safety belts. A driver transporting anyone younger than age 18 must ensure that the passenger is properly secured in a safety belt, booster seat or child safety seat. You may turn left at a red light if you are on a one-way street and turning left onto another one-way street. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You may turn left at a red light if you are on a one-way street and turning left onto another one-way street while the traffic signal displays a red light. You may not turn left on red if signs are posted at the intersection that read no turn on red, or if a red arrow pointing to the left is displayed. Most overcorrection crashes. 1. Happen at night when the weather is hazardous. 2. Involve multiple cars. 3. Are single vehicle crashes and are often preventable. 4. Involve hitting a tree or animal. The answer is 3. Are single vehicle crashes and are often preventable. When approaching a roundabout. 1. Speed up. 2. Stop. 3. Turn on your flashers. 4. Slow down. The answer is 4. Slow down. When approaching a roundabout, slow down. Perception time, reaction distance and braking distance are affected by. 1. Weather. 2. Mental and physical condition. 3. Visibility. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Perception time, reaction distance and braking distance are affected by weather, visibility, and your mental and physical condition. This traffic device means 1. A railroad crossing is ahead. Stop 50 feet ahead of tracks. 2. High occupancy vehicles only travel in this lane. 3. Do not proceed until lights have stopped flashing. 4. Work zone. Keep vehicle in middle of lane and obey posted speed limit. The answer is 4. Work zone. Keep vehicle in middle of lane and obey posted speed limit. This traffic device alerts you to a work zone. Keep your vehicle in the middle of the lane and obey the posted speed limit. If you find yourself in a tailgating situation. 1. Brake suddenly. 2. Gently tap your brakes to flash your brake lights and slow down. 3. Come to a full stop. 4. Speed up. The answer is 2. Gently tap your brakes to flash your brake lights and slow down. Do not brake suddenly. If possible, move over to another lane, or gently tap your brakes to flash your brake lights and slow down. This should encourage the tailgater to pass you or slow down. Before turning right on red. 1. Slow down and proceed with caution. 2. Come to a complete stop, look both ways and yield the right of way to pedestrians and other traffic. 3. Check your rear view mirror. 4. Come to complete stop and proceed when the light turns green. The answer is 2. Come to a complete stop, look both ways and yield the right of way to pedestrians and other traffic. You may turn right while the traffic signal displays a red light. Before turning, you must come to a complete stop. You may not turn right on red if signs are posted at the intersection that read no turn on red, or if a red arrow pointing to the right is displayed. When following an emergency vehicle responding to an emergency, you may not follow closer than 1. 100 feet. 2. 250 feet. 3. 350 feet. 4. 500 feet. The answer is 4. 500 feet. Never follow an emergency vehicle closer than 500 feet when its lights are flashing. Lane use signals are often used to 1. Indicate where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. 2. Indicate heavy traffic ahead. 3. 
warn motorists that a work zone is ahead. 4. All of the above. The answer is 1. Indicate where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. Lane use signals indicate lanes where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. Combining alcohol with other drugs usually. 1. Multiplies the effects of both. 2. Has no effect. 3. Reduces the effect of the alcohol. 4. Makes you more alert. The answer is 1. Multiplies the effects of both. Combining alcohol with other drugs, even an aspirin, or allergy or cold medicine, usually multiplies the effects of both and can have a disastrous effect on your ability to drive. Lane use signals indicate where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Lane use signals indicate lanes where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. If you are over age 18 and you receive 18 demerit points within 12 months, DMV will revoke your driving privilege forever. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. If you receive 18 demerit points within 12 months or 24 points within 24 months, DMV will suspend your driving privilege for 90 days and require that you complete a driver improvement clinic. The court may suspend or revoke your driving privilege if you are convicted of reckless or aggressive driving. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. The court may suspend or revoke your driving privilege if you are convicted of reckless or aggressive driving. A driver transporting anyone younger than age 18 must ensure that the passenger is properly secured in a safety belt, booster seat or child safety seat no matter where the child is seated in the vehicle. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. A driver transporting anyone younger than age 18 must ensure that the passenger is properly secured in a safety belt, booster seat or child safety seat no matter where the child is in the vehicle. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles is 25 miles per hour for school, business and residential areas, 35 miles per hour for unpaved roads and 55 miles per hour for all other roads. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles, unless posted otherwise, on interstate highways in certain rural areas is 35 miles per hour. This road sign means 1. Yield a right of way. 2. Railroad crossing. 3. Speed limit. 4. Warning of special conditions or hazards ahead. The answer is 4. Warning of special conditions or hazards ahead. This road sign alerts you to special conditions or hazards ahead. Traffic signals apply to pedestrians. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Traffic signals apply to drivers, motorcycle riders, bicyclists, moped riders and pedestrians. If you are driving on a two-lane Virginia road with no lane markings, you may pass a slow-moving vehicle. 1. On the left side if there are no signs prohibiting passing and the way is clear. 2. On either side. 3. On the right side. 4. On the shoulder of the road. The answer is 1. On the left side if there are no signs prohibiting passing and the way is clear. Many two-lane roads in Virginia do not have lane markings to separate the lanes. On an unmarked two-lane road, you may pass a slow-moving vehicle on the left side if there are no signs prohibiting passing. Headlights must be used from 1. An hour after sunset to an hour before sunrise. 2. An hour before sunset to an hour after sunrise. 3. Sunset to sunrise and any time there is inclement weather requiring windshield wipers. 4. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. The answer is 3. Sunset to sunrise, and any time there is inclement weather requiring windshield wipers. You must use your headlights whenever you use your windshield wipers as a result of bad weather. You must also use headlights from sunset to sunrise. Space around your vehicle. 1. Helps prevent scratches. 2. Helps others to avoid crashing into you. 3. Allows you to better communicate with other drivers. 4. Gives you distance to react in emergencies and avoid a crash. The answer is 4. Gives you distance to react in emergencies and avoid a crash.
space around your vehicle gives you distance to react in emergencies and avoid a crash. When approaching a stop sign and the car in front of you proceeds, you should 1. Stop only if pedestrians are crossing. 2. Proceed at the same speed. 3. Go if the way is still clear. 4. Stop at the sign and proceed when the way is clear. The answer is 4. Stop at the sign and proceed when the way is clear. You must come to a complete stop at the sign, stop line, pedestrian crosswalk or curb and wait for any vehicle or pedestrian to clear the way. What is the leading cause of all motorcycle crashes involving automobiles? 1. The motorcyclist did not see the motorist. 2. Bad weather conditions. 3. Failure of the motorist to see motorcycles in traffic. 4. Drunk driving. The answer is 3. Failure of the motorist to see motorcycles in traffic. Approximately half of all fatal motorcycle crashes involve automobiles. Many crashes are caused by the motorist's failure to see a motorcycle in traffic. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line in the center of the highway means 1. It is not legal to make any turns in this area. 2. Pass with care in either direction. 3. Passing is permitted only from the side of the broken line. 4. Divided highway ahead. The answer is 3. Passing is permitted only from the side of the broken line. A broken yellow line alongside a solid yellow line means that passing is allowed from the side of the broken line, but not from the side of the solid line. If your driving is impaired because you are under the influence of any drug, you may 1. Not be arrested. 2. Be less likely to be involved in a crash. 3. Face restrictions at your pharmacy or doctor's office. 4. Face the same penalties as driving under the influence of alcohol. The answer is 4. Face the same penalties as driving under the influence of alcohol. If your driving is impaired because you are under the influence of any drug, you may face the same penalties as driving under the influence of alcohol. At a red light, come to a complete stop. 1. 100 feet before the intersection. 2. 50 feet before the stop line. 3. Two car lengths behind the vehicle in front of you. 4. Before you reach the intersection, stop line, or crosswalk. The answer is 4. Before you reach the intersection, stop line, or crosswalk. At a red light, come to a complete stop at the stop line or, if there is no stop line, before entering the intersection or before reaching the crosswalk. Remain stopped as long as the signal is red, unless turns are allowed. When approaching or passing a person riding a bicycle, you should reduce speed and pass at least 3 feet to the left. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When approaching or passing a person riding a bicycle, moped, or power-assisted bicycle or other device, reduce speed and pass at least 3 feet to the left. When following another vehicle at night, use low beams if you are within, feet of the other vehicle. 1. 200. 2. 300. 3. 500. 4. 600. The answer is 1. 200. When following, use low beams whenever you are within 200 feet of the vehicle ahead. When you encounter a funeral procession. 1. You must yield the right of way. 2. You should speed up to beat the procession. 3. Break through the procession and join in. 4. You should obey the traffic signs and signals and ignore the police officer. The answer is 1. You must yield the right of way. You must yield to funeral processions. Do not cut through, join or interfere with a funeral procession. Unless led by a police escort, the lead vehicle in a funeral procession must obey all traffic signs and signals. Drivers do not need to change following distance when speed or road conditions change. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Drivers need to change following distance when speed or road conditions change. By maintaining a safe following distance and a steady speed, you help the driver behind you. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Help the driver behind you by maintaining a safe following distance and a steady speed. Tap your brakes to warn the driver behind you when you plan to slow down or stop. Yellow X or yellow diagonal downward arrow. These signals mean that you should move out of the lane as soon as safely possible. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1, true. 
Lane use signals indicate lanes where you can and cannot drive during different hours of the day. A yellow X signal means that you should move out of the lane as soon as safely possible. On a dry surface when driving under 35 miles per hour, you should use a 1. 1 second rule. 2. 3 seconds rule. 3. 4 seconds rule. 4. 2 seconds rule. The answer is 4. 2 seconds rule. When traveling at 35 miles per hour, use the 2 second rule. Who is responsible for making sure that children are properly secured in a vehicle? 1. The children. 2. Every passenger. 3. The driver. 4. No one. Children do not need to be secured. The answer is 3. The driver. A driver transporting anyone younger than age 18 must ensure that the passenger is properly secured in a safety belt, booster seat or child safety seat no matter where the child is seated in the vehicle. When following a motorcycle expect the cyclist to make sudden changes because 1. Motorcyclists like to show off. 2. A slight change or debris on the road surface can be a major obstacle for a motorcyclist. 3. It is easy for motorcyclists to change lanes. 4. Motorcyclists are unstable. The answer is 2. A slight change or debris on the road surface can be a major obstacle for a motorcyclist. A slight change or debris on the road surface can be a major obstacle for a motorcyclist. Expect the motorcycle to make sudden moves within the lane. A left turn at a red traffic signal is allowed when 1. You are on a one way street and turning left onto another one way street. 2. Traffic is stopped. 3. Between midnight and 6 a.m. 4. No one is coming. The answer is 1. You are on a one way street and turning left onto another one way street. You may turn left at a red light if you are on a one way street and turning left onto another one way street while the traffic signal displays a red light. You see a flashing yellow traffic signal at the next intersection. You should 1. Slow down and proceed with caution. 2. Come to a complete stop before proceeding. 3. Speed up before the light changes to red. 4. Maintain speed since you have the right of way. The answer is 1. Slow down and proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light means slow down and proceed with caution. Flashing yellow lights are at locations with higher than normal hazardous conditions. What is a factor that determines the distance that it takes to stop your vehicle? 1. Perception time. 2. Reaction distance. 3. Braking distance. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Three factors determine the distance that it takes to stop your vehicle. Perception time, reaction distance, and braking distance. To avoid distracted driving, what precautions should you take? 1. Set or adjust your controls on the vehicle before you begin driving. 2. Concentrate and do not use a cell phone. 3. Anticipate the traffic around you and maintain a space cushion. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Set or adjust the controls on the vehicle and other devices before you begin driving. Concentrate and do not use a cell phone. Anticipate the traffic around you and maintain a space cushion. Never drive in a lane marked with a red X signal. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Never drive in a lane marked with a red X signal. A flashing red light means 1. Reduce your speed. 2. Stop, yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, and proceed when the way is clear. 3. Drive with caution. 4. A fire engine or ambulance is ahead. The answer is 2. Stop, yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, and proceed when the way is clear. At a flashing red light. Come to a complete stop and yield to oncoming vehicles and pedestrians. You may go when the way is clear. At a railroad crossing, you must come to a complete stop even if you don't see a train. It is legal to avoid traffic controls by cutting through a parking lot or field. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Traffic signals, signs and pavement markings are used for traffic control to provide a smooth, orderly flow of traffic. It is important to understand and obey them. It is illegal to avoid these traffic controls by cutting through a parking lot or field. In your lifetime, there's a 50 to 50 chance that you'll be involved in an alcohol-related crash. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. 
nearly 50% of the drivers arrested for DUI are social to moderate drinkers. In your lifetime, there's a 50 to 50 chance that you'll be involved in an alcohol-related crash. If a police officer directs you to go through an intersection with a red light, you should. 1. Stop until the light turns green. 2. Stop until the light changes to yellow. 3. Stop, then drive on carefully. 4. Follow the officer's direction. The answer is 4. Follow the officer's direction. Obey all signs and signals unless directed by a police officer, always follow the officer's direction. It is always a good habit for drivers too. 1. Slow down when approaching bicyclists. 2. Give bicyclists plenty of room when passing them. 3. Be prepared to stop suddenly when approaching a bicyclist. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Slow down when you approach bicyclists. State law requires motorists to pass cyclists with at least 3 feet of clearance. Give them plenty of room when passing and be prepared to stop suddenly. This road sign means 1. Side road. 2. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. 3. You may drive in the left lane. 4. You have the right of way. The answer is 2. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. Obey all signs and signals unless directed by a police officer. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Obey all signs and signals unless directed by a police officer. Always follow the officer's direction. You do not have to come to a complete stop before turning right on a red light. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Right turn on red, you may turn right while the traffic signal displays a red light. Before turning, you must come to a complete stop. You may not turn right on red if signs are posted at the intersection that read no turn on red, or if a red arrow pointing to the right is displayed. A red arrow indicates that you may turn after you come to a complete stop and look both ways for traffic and pedestrians. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. A red arrow means you must stop if you intend to move in the direction of the arrow. Virginia law prohibits right and left turns at red arrow lights. A red arrow indicates that you may turn after you if the traffic light is green and a police officer motions you to stop, you should. 1. Obey the traffic light. 2. Follow the officer's direction. 3. Obey the police officer or the traffic light. 4. Proceed with caution. The answer is 2. Follow the officer's direction. Obey all signs and signals unless directed by a police officer, always follow the officer's direction. Use your high beam headlights, unless another vehicle is within, feet coming toward you. 1. 200. 2. 300. 3. 400. 4. 500. The answer is 4. 500. At night, use high beam headlights on highways, unless another vehicle is within 500 feet coming toward you. If the high beams of an oncoming car are on, avoid looking directly at the bright lights. Who is responsible for making sure that drivers are able to safely operate motor vehicles? 1. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. 2. Licensed Physicians. 3. Parents or Guardians of Children Under 18. 4. DMV. The answer is 4. DMV. DMV is responsible for making sure that drivers are able to safely operate motor vehicles. It is against the law to operate a moped faster than 1. 45 miles per hour. 2. 50 miles per hour. 3. 70 miles per hour. 4. 35 miles per hour. The answer is 4. 35 miles per hour. It is against the law to operate a moped faster than 35 miles per hour or on an interstate highway. Any person who operates a moped faster than 35 miles per hour is considered to be operating a motorcycle which must meet Virginia licensing and registration requirements. This road sign means 1. School crossing. Watch for children. 2. Allow other vehicles to merge into lane. 3. You may not pass cars in your lane. 4. Parking space reserved for people with disabled parking permits. The answer is 4. Parking space reserved for people with disabled parking permits. This road sign means that the parking space is reserved for people with disabled parking permits. Tailgating is 1. When a car is in the lane next to you. 2. 
When three cars are moving in the same direction. 3. When a vehicle hits another vehicle from behind. 4. When the driver behind you is following too closely. The answer is 4. When the driver behind you is following too closely. Tailgating is when the driver behind you is following too closely. A broken yellow line in the center of the highway means. 1. No turns. 2. Passing is not permitted. 3. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. 4. Crossing the line is prohibited. The answer is 3. Passing on the left is permitted when the way ahead is clear. Broken yellow center lines mean that passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. A broken yellow line in the center of the highway Broken white lines in the center of the highway mean 1. Lanes of traffic are going in the same direction. 2. No turns are allowed. 3. Passing is not permitted in either direction. 4. Slow down. The answer is 1. Lanes of traffic are going in the same direction. Broken white lines separate lanes of traffic going in the same direction. You may change lanes with caution. A right turn on a red traffic signal is permitted. 1. After stopping, if no sign prohibits right turn on red. 2. When the traffic light first changes. 3. At any time. 4. In daylight hours only. The answer is 1. After stopping, if no sign prohibits right turn on red. Before turning, come to a complete stop. You may not turn right on red if signs are posted at the intersection that read no turn on red, or if a red arrow pointing to the right is displayed. Children should ride in a child safety seat facing the rear of the vehicle from birth to at least two years of age. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When traveling with children, children from birth to at least two years of age ride facing the rear. Under Virginia law, the driver and all front seat passengers must wear safety belts. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Traffic signals apply to 1. Drivers. 2. Bicyclists. 3. Pedestrians. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Traffic signals apply to drivers, motorcycle riders, bicyclists, moped riders and pedestrians. This road sign means 1. Sharp right and left turns ahead. 2. Proceed into different traffic lanes. Part of the road ahead is closed. 3. The road ahead winds with a series of turns and curves. 4. Watch for cross traffic. A four-way intersection is ahead. The answer is 2. Proceed into different traffic lanes. Part of the road ahead is closed. Traffic signals apply to drivers, motorcycle riders, bicyclists, moped riders and pedestrians. Traffic signals do not apply to bicyclists. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Traffic signals apply to drivers, motorcycle riders, bicyclists, moped riders and pedestrians. This road sign means 1. Do not enter. 2. Road becomes wider. 3. Slow down and yield the right of way. Stop if necessary. 4. Warning of a hazard. The answer is 3. Slow down and yield the right of way. Stop if necessary. This road sign alerts you to slow down and yield the right of way. Stop if necessary. Danger areas that cannot be seen in the mirrors on either or both sides of the vehicle are 1. Called poor visibility areas. 2. Created when a space cushion is not big enough. 3. Caused by winding roads. 4. Called blind spots. The answer is 4. Called blind spots. Blind spots are danger areas that cannot be seen in the mirrors on either or both sides of the vehicle. This road sign means 1. No U turn. 2. Curve 3. Turn right or left. 4. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. The answer is 4. Traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. This road sign warns you that traffic flows only in the direction of the arrow. Use your high beam headlights, unless another vehicle is within, feet coming toward you. 1. 200. 2. 300. 3. 400. 4. 500. The answer is 4. 500. At night, use high beam headlights on highways, unless another vehicle is within 500 feet coming toward you. If the high beams of an oncoming car are on, avoid looking directly at the bright lights. 
If you are involved in a crash, you must 1. Take the person to the nearest hospital. 2. Continue home and file a crash report. 3. Stop, help any injured, report the crash to the police, exchange information and notify your insurance company. 4. Check your car for damages. The answer is 3. Stop, help any injured, report the crash to the police, exchange information and notify your insurance company. Whenever you're involved in a vehicle crash you must stop, help any injured, report the crash to the police, exchange information, and notify your insurance company. This road sign means 1. Traffic in left lane may turn right, if the way is clear. 2. Curve ahead. 3. Traffic in the lane must turn in the direction of the arrow. 4. No left turn allowed. The answer is 3. Traffic in the lane must turn in the direction of the arrow. This road sign tells you that traffic in the lane must turn in the direction of the arrow. If you drive after drinking, be aware that alcohol affects. 1. Coordination. 2. Vision. 3. Judgment. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Just one alcoholic drink can affect your driving ability because even a small amount of alcohol affects the brain's functions, particularly vision, judgment, and coordination. This road sign means 1. Slippery when wet. 2. Dead end. 3. No U turn. 4. One way street. The answer is 3. No U-turn. The no U-turn sign is a regulatory sign. No U-turn signs are posted at intersections to indicate the driver is not legally allowed to make a U-turn, a turn in the road to go the opposite direction. How should you create a space cushion around your vehicle? 1. By moving to the right side of your lane. 2. By switching lanes frequently. 3. By moving to the left side of your lane. 4. By staying in the middle of your lane. The answer is 4. By staying in the middle of your lane. Space around your vehicle gives you distance to react in emergencies and avoid a crash. Create a space cushion around your vehicle by staying in the middle of your lane. There are many distractions that prevent drivers from focusing on driving, changing the radio, talking to passengers, eating, and using a cell phone. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Driving requires your full attention. There are many distractions that may prevent drivers from focusing on driving such as, changing the radio or CD, talking to passengers, observing outside surroundings, eating, holding and using a cell phone and more. This road sign means 1. You may turn during the red light. 2. Pass only in the right lane. 3. One-way street. 4. Do not turn during the red light. The answer is 4. Do not turn during the red light. You may not turn on the red light. Wait for the signal to turn green. If you are driving on an icy or slippery road and have to stop. 1. Apply your brakes gently. 2. Turn on your hazard lights, flashers. 3. Keep your foot off the brake and coast to a stop. 4. Apply your brakes firmly. The answer is 1. Apply your brakes gently. When driving on slippery surfaces and you need to stop, apply brakes gently. You have the most traction and control when the front tires are rolling. Therefore, your vehicle will respond more effectively to steering while moving more slowly than hard braking. If the use of a safety belt is not reasonable due to the driver's or passenger's physical or medical condition, a waiver of the seatbelt requirement may be granted by 1. Passenger 2. Driving Institute 3. The Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles. 4. A licensed physician. The answer is 4. A licensed physician. A waiver of the seat belt requirement may be granted by a licensed physician if the use of a safety belt is not reasonable due to the driver's or passenger's physical or medical condition. When driving a vehicle with a light to medium trailer attached. 1. Flash your lights to let the other driver know you are changing lanes. 2. Blow your horn to let the other driver know you want to change lanes. 3. Allow for the added length of the trailer when changing lanes. 4. Change lanes the same as you would when not towing a trailer. The answer is 3. Allow for the added length of the trailer when changing lanes. When driving a vehicle with a light to medium trailer attached always allow for the added length of the trailer when you change lanes. This road sign means 1. One way. 
Traffic flows in the direction of arrow. 2. Traffic turning left on green must yield the right of way to traffic coming from the other direction. 3. No turn on red. Wait for signal to turn green. 4. Give proper turn signal, then turn right. The answer is 2. Traffic turning left on green must yield the right of way to traffic coming from the other direction. This road sign alerts you that traffic turning left on green must yield the right of way to traffic coming from the other direction. You must drive slower if conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. By law, you must drive slower if conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe. This road sign means 1. No left turns or U-turns. 2. Road closed. 3. You must turn left. 4. Curve to left. The answer is 1. No left turns or U-turns. This road sign alerts you that no left turns are allowed. No left turn signs are square shaped containing a red circle with a red slash positioned over a black symbol. On a dry surface at 46 to 70 miles per hour, you should use a 1. 2 seconds rule. 2. 3 seconds rule. 3. 5 seconds rule. 4. 4 seconds rule. The answer is 4. 4 seconds rule. When traveling at 46 to 70 miles per hour, use the 4 second rule. This road sign means 1. Come to a complete stop and then enter. 2. You cannot drive in that direction. 3. Do not pass cars ahead of you in your lane. 4. You should enter the street or expressway ramp. The answer is 2. You cannot drive in that direction. Do not enter means you must not proceed in the direction of the sign. These signs are meant to prevent head-on collisions as they usually indicate opposing traffic that will be coming toward you. This road sign means 1. Passing zone ahead. 2. Pass only on the right. 3. Entering a no passing zone. 4. Slow down. The answer is 3. Entering a no passing zone. The do not pass sign marks the beginning of a no passing zone and it indicates to drivers that they must not overtake another vehicle within a specified zone. The shoulder belt should be worn behind your back or under your arm. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Wear your shoulder belt over your shoulder and across your chest. Never wear your shoulder belt behind your back or under your arm. Broken yellow center lines mean no passing is allowed. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Broken yellow center lines mean that passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. Broken yellow center lines mean that passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Broken yellow center lines mean that passing on the left is allowed in either direction when the way ahead is clear. This road sign means 1. A church. 2. A first aid station. 3. An intersection ahead. 4. A railroad crossing. The answer is 3. An intersection ahead. This road sign alerts you to an intersection ahead. This road sign means 1. The road curves to the left ahead. You must drive at least 35 miles per hour. 2. The road curves to the right ahead. You must drive at least 35 miles per hour. 3. The road curves to the right ahead. A safe speed to travel is 35 miles per hour. 4. There's a hill ahead. Reduce speed to 35 miles per hour. The answer is 3. The road curves to the right ahead. A safe speed to travel is 35 miles per hour. This road sign alerts you to the road curves to the right ahead and that 35 miles per hour is a safe speed to travel. This road sign means 1. Maximum legal speed is 45 miles per hour. 2. Minimum legal speed is 45 miles per hour. 3. Next rest area is 45 miles ahead. 4. No passing for next 45 miles. The answer is 1. Maximum legal speed is 45 miles per hour. This road sign alerts you to prepare to reduce your speed. The speed limit is changing ahead to prevent snow and ice from flying off your car when it is moving and creating a hazard for other motorists. You should remove it from 1. Your vehicle's roof and hood. 2. The rear of the vehicle. 3. 
windows, mirrors, and front and rear lights. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Remove snow and ice from the roof, hood and rear of the vehicle, before you start driving. Be sure to also clear all of your windows, mirrors, and front and rear lights of snow or ice. This road sign means 1. Sharp turn to the right. 2. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. 3. Winding road. 4. Pavement ends. The answer is 3. Winding road. Drivers encountering a winding road sign must be prepared to slow down as the sign designates a section of curved road ahead. Winding road signs are used in situations where there are three or more curves in the road where each curve is separated by a tangent distance of less than 600 feet. This road sign means 1. Right lane and soon, merge left. 2. Soft shoulders. 3. Low place in the road. 4. Lane and soon, merge right. The answer is 1. Right lane and soon, merge left. The right lane end sign indicates that the right lane of a multi-lane roadway is ending soon and advises drivers to merge safely to the left lane. It helps to prevent confusion and potential accidents by providing advance notice of the lane reduction. You must stop for stopped school buses with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign when you approach from any direction on a highway. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You must stop for stopped school buses with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign when you approach from any direction on a highway, private road or school driveway. Avoid driving in someone else's blind spot by 1. Sounding your horn. 2. Pulling over. 3. Flashing your headlights. 4. Speeding up or dropping back. The answer is 4. Speeding up or dropping back. Speed up or drop back but don't stay in the other driver's blind spot. This can be just as dangerous as not checking your own blind spot. This road sign means 1. Cars in right lane must slow down. 2. No left turn. 3. Merge. 4. Pass only in right lane. The answer is 3. Merge. Merge signs indicate the drivers should be prepared to merge with vehicles on a separate road. The merging traffic sign will use an arrow to show which roadway is merging. The vehicles on the bigger roadway have the right of way but should be considerate of merging vehicles. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit on public highways not part of the interstate system is 60 miles per hour. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles on non-rural interstate highways and public highways that are not part of the interstate system is 55 miles per hour. This road sign means 1. Check your brakes. 2. A road joins from the right. 3. The maximum safe speed is 35 miles per hour. 4. Deer crossing. Slow down and be ready to stop. The answer is 4. Deer crossing. Slow down and be ready to stop. The animal crossing sign indicates to motorists that they are approaching an area where it is known that deer, elk, etc. often cross the roadway, i.e., the roadway passes through a known migratory route or feeding area. The sign consists of black symbol on a yellow background. When inside a roundabout you must 1. Switch lanes without looking. 2. Circle the entire roundabout before exiting. 3. Use your vehicle's left turn signal to let drivers around you know what you want to do. 4. Stay in your lane until you are ready to exit. The answer is 4. Stay in your lane until you are ready to exit. If you plan to turn right, stay to the right as you enter the roundabout. If you plan to go straight, you may stay in either lane, if it is a dual lane circular intersection. If you plan to turn left, stay to the left as you enter the roundabout. The best way to see a car in your blind spot is by 1. Using both your inside and outside mirrors. 2. Quickly turning your head, glancing over your shoulder to ensure the way is clear before changing lanes or passing another vehicle. Three. Readjusting the outside mirrors. 4. Readjusting the inside mirrors. The answer is 2. Quickly turning your head, glancing over your shoulder to ensure the way is clear before changing lanes or passing another vehicle. Just before you begin moving into the other lane, quickly glance over your shoulder and check for any vehicles that may be in your blind spot. Expert drivers try to focus their eyes 20 to 30 seconds ahead. 1. True. 2. False. 
The answer is 1, true. Looking ahead will help you identify risks early and provide you with more time to react. Expert drivers try to focus their eyes 20 to 30 seconds ahead. This road sign means 1. Road becomes wider. 2. The road ahead curves right, then left. 3. Drive in the left lane. 4. Curve to the left. The answer is 2. The road ahead curves right, then left. This road sign indicates that the road ahead curves right, then left. Double solid yellow lines in the center of the highway mean. 1. Reduce speed. 2. No passing in either direction. 3. Pass with care in either direction. 4. A school zone. The answer is 2. No passing in either direction. Double solid yellow lines mark the center of the road and separate traffic traveling in two different directions. Passing is not allowed in either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn. This road sign means 1. Crossing is not permitted. 2. Business district. 3. School crossing. 4. Stay on sidewalk. The answer is 3. School crossing. School crossing road signs are designed to warn drivers that they are approaching an area where pedestrians, specifically school children, may be crossing. The signs serve as a reminder for drivers to slow down and exercise caution. This road sign means 1. Automated photo enforcement is in place for the speed limit in this work zone. Always obey the posted speed limit. 2. Drivers are required to decrease their speed in this work zone. 3. Drivers are required to increase their speed in this work zone. 4. Due to photo enforcement for speed limits in this work zone, drivers may drive no more than 10 miles per hour above the posted speed limit. The answer is 1. Automated photo enforcement is in place for the speed limit in this work zone. Always obey the posted speed limit. This road sign means 1. Bicycles crossing or riding beside traffic. 2. Stop only if other cars approaching. 3. Yield right of way. 4. Soft shoulders for motorcycles. The answer is 1. Bicycles crossing or riding beside traffic. This road sign alerts you to bicycles crossing or riding beside traffic. This road sign means 1. A divided highway ends. 2. A one way street is ahead. 3. A road is closed ahead. 4. Turn at the next intersection. The answer is 1. A divided highway ends. Unless posted otherwise, the speed limit in a business area is 1. 15 miles per hour. 2. 25 miles per hour. 3. 35 miles per hour. 4. 45 miles per hour. The answer is 2. 25 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles, unless posted otherwise, in a school, business, or residential zone is 25 miles per hour. This road sign means 1. A divided highway ends, keep to the right. 2. You must bear either right or left ahead. 3. A divided highway begins, keep to the right. 4. The road ends ahead. The answer is 2. You must bear either right or left ahead. This road sign depicts the actual formation of road ahead. The road is divided into two forming a shape of why this helps driver in managing the intersection carefully. This road sign means 1. The next exit is 25 miles ahead. 2. The driver must be 25 years old to exit. 3. The maximum safe speed for the exit is 25 miles per hour. 4. The minimum speed limit is 25 miles per hour. The answer is 3. The maximum safe speed for the exit is 25 miles per hour. This road sign advises that the maximum safe speed for the exit is 25 miles per hour. In heavy fog, always use 1. Low beams. 2. High beams. 3. Parking lights. 4. Windshield wipers. The answer is 1. Low beams. Fog reflects light and can reflect your own headlights back into your eyes. Use low beam headlights in heavy fog and look for road edge markings to guide you. You must always stop your vehicle at railroad crossings with flashing signals. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You should stop at least 15 feet before a railroad crossing and look for these signs when driving. If you see a flashing yellow light or a gate, 
It means that there is a train approaching, and it is your responsibility to get off the tracks as soon as possible. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit in residential areas is 25 miles per hour. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles, unless posted otherwise, in a school, business, or residential zone is 25 miles per hour. On average, it takes a vehicle moving 65 miles per hour over 500 feet to stop on dry, level pavement. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. At 65 miles per hour, the average stopping distance on dry, level pavement is 344 feet. This road sign means 1. Intersection ahead. 2. Steep grade ahead. 3. Winding road. 4. Merging traffic. The answer is 2. Steep grade ahead. Slow down. Steep hill ahead. You may need to use a lower gear. Two roads going in the same direction are about to join into one. Drivers on both roads are equally responsible for seeing that traffic merges smoothly and safely. This road sign means 1. Lane ends soon, merge right. 2. Work zone ahead. 3. Pass only in the right lane. 4. Do not pass cars ahead of you in your lane. The answer is 4. Do not pass cars ahead of you in your lane. You may drive slower than the posted speed. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You may drive slower than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. This road sign means 1. Left turns are not allowed. 2. A traffic signal is ahead. 3. Left turn from right lane only. 4. An intersection is ahead. The answer is 2. A traffic signal is ahead. When approaching a light signal controlled junction it's advised you warn the road users of a sudden stop through this warning sign. The traffic signals ahead sign is used where the junction and lights are not easily seen. This road sign means 1. Road work ahead. 2. Part of the road ahead is closed. Work zone. 3. Sharp right and left turns ahead. 4. Signal before turning right or left. The answer is 3. Sharp right and left turns ahead. Sharp right and left turns, slow down and be prepared for the road ahead to turn sharply right, then left. This road sign means 1. Pavement ends. 2. Divided highway begins. 3. Stop, look and listen. 4. No turns. The answer is 2. Divided highway begins. Divided highway begins, traffic travels in both directions on separated roads ahead. Keep to the right hand road. Each road carries one-way traffic. Right lane ends ahead. When entering a roadway from a private road or driveway you must 1. Slow down and sound your horn. 2. Continue at the same speed. 3. Stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. 4. Turn on your headlights. The answer is 3. Stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. When entering a roadway from a private road or driveway, you must stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. A speed limit is the maximum legal speed you can travel on the road in wet conditions. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. By law, you must drive slower if conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe. This road sign means 1. Intersection. Signal before turning. 2. A road joins from the right. 3. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. 4. Winding road ahead. The answer is 3. Sharp right turn in the road ahead. The road ahead turns sharply to the right. You need to slow down substantially, position your vehicle slightly to the right of the center of your lane and prepare to navigate through the sharp right turn. Some sharp turn signs have an advisory speed located on the sign or posted below it. This road sign means 1. Right turn only. 2. The roadway you are traveling on ends ahead at a stop sign. 3. Curve to right. 4. A one-way street. The answer is 2. The roadway you are traveling on ends ahead at a stop sign. This road sign alerts you to the roadway ending ahead. This road sign means 1. A change in the traffic pattern or route is ahead in a work zone. 2. Caution. Road joins from the right. 3. 
Yield the right of way. 4. Slow down. Railroad crossing ahead. The answer is 1. A change in the traffic pattern or route is ahead in a work zone. This road sign alerts you to a change in the traffic pattern or route ahead in a work zone. This road sign means 1. Bicycle crossing ahead. 2. Slow down. Change in traffic route ahead. 3. Pass only in the right lane. 4. Intersection ahead. The answer is 2. Slow down. Change in traffic route ahead. Detour sign means any sign placed across or on a public road of the state, the county or a municipal authority, or by their contractors, indicating that such road is closed or partially closed, which sign also indicates the direction of an alternate route to be followed to give access to certain points. If you are convicted of exceeding the speed limit in a highway work zone, you may be fined. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. If you are convicted of exceeding the speed limit in a highway work zone, you may be fined up to $500. Remember, the color orange marks a work zone and means slow down and be alert. Double solid yellow lines mean that passing is not allowed in either direction. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Double solid yellow lines mark the center of the road and separate traffic traveling in two different directions. Passing is not allowed in either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn. You may cross double solid yellow lines to make a left turn. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Double solid yellow lines mark the center of the road and separate traffic traveling in two different directions. Passing is not allowed in either direction. You may not cross the lines unless you are making a left turn. When you arrive at a roundabout you must 1. Sound your horn to warn pedestrians of your location. 2. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and bicyclists. 3. Stop before entering. 4. Use your left turn signal to let drivers around you know what you want to do. The answer is 2. Yield the right of way to pedestrians and bicyclists. When you arrive at the roundabout, yield the right of way to pedestrians and bicyclists. You also must yield to any vehicles already in the roundabout. This road sign means 1. Automated photo enforcement is in place for the speed limit in this school zone. Always obey the posted speed limit. 2. Drivers are required to decrease their speed in this school zone. 3. Drivers are required to increase their speed in this school zone. 4. Due to photo enforcement for speed limits in this school zone, drivers may drive no more than 10 miles per hour above the posted speed limit. The answer is 1. Automated photo enforcement is in place for the speed limit in this school zone. Always obey the posted speed limit. This sign indicates that automated photo enforcement is in place for speeding in a work zone. Always obey the posted speed limit in a work zone. When a school bus stops to load or unload children, vehicles traveling in the same direction as the bus must 1. Slow down and proceed with caution. 2. Maintain speed. 3. Stop, then proceed with caution. 4. Stop until all children are clear, and the bus moves again. The answer is 4. Stop until all children are clear and the bus moves again. You must stop for stopped school buses with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign when you approach from any direction. You must also stop if the bus is loading or unloading passengers and the signals are not on. You must always stop your vehicle at flashing red signals. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You must always stop your vehicle at all stop signs red traffic lights, and flashing red signals. Unless otherwise posted, the maximum speed limit on interstate highways is 75 miles per hour. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles varies by location, i.e. rustic roads versus interstate highways. It is illegal to use a radar detector in Virginia. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. It is illegal to use a radar detector in Virginia. To determine if you are following far enough behind the vehicle ahead of you. 1. Use the 11, 12 and 13 second rule. 2. Use road markers to maintain a distance of 5,000 feet. 3. Use the 2, 3 and 4 minute rules. 4. Use the 2, 3 and 4 second rules.
The answer is 4. Use the 2, 3, and 4 second rules. Use the 2, 3, and 4 second rule to determine if you are following far enough behind the vehicle ahead of you. You do not have to stop if a school bus is loading or unloading passengers and the signals are not on. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. You must stop for stopped school buses with flashing red lights and an extended stop sign when you approach from any direction. You must also stop if the bus is loading or unloading passengers and the signals are not on. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in school, business and residential areas is 1. 15 miles per hour. 2. 25 miles per hour. 3. 35 miles per hour. 4. 45 miles per hour. The answer is 2. 25 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles, unless posted otherwise, in a school, business, or residential areas is 25 miles per hour. When parking your car uphill on a road with no curb, you should turn your front wheels. 1. Straight ahead. 2. To the right so the rear of the vehicle will roll away from traffic. 3. To the left so the vehicle will roll into traffic. 4 in any direction. The answer is 2. To the right so the rear of the vehicle will roll away from traffic. When parking uphill on a road with no curb, turn the front wheels to the right so that, if the vehicle rolls, the rear of the vehicle will roll away from traffic. You may drive slower than the posted speed limit under ideal conditions, as long as you don't impede the normal movement of traffic, but it is illegal to drive any faster. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. By law, you must drive slower if conditions such as road construction or bad weather make the posted speed unsafe. While inside the roundabout, stay in your lane until you are ready to exit. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. While inside the roundabout, stay in your lane until you are ready to exit. Use your vehicle's right turn signal to let drivers around you know what you want to do. For bad weather conditions, heavy traffic, poor pavement, or if your vehicle is in poor condition. 1. Pull over until conditions improve. 2. Drive at 15 miles per hour less than the posted speed limit. 3. Focus your eyes 5 to 10 seconds ahead. 4. Add extra seconds to increase following distance. The answer is 4. Add extra seconds to increase following distance. For bad weather conditions, heavy traffic, poor pavement or if your vehicle is in poor condition, Add extra seconds to increase your following distance. It is illegal to drive slower than the posted speed limit. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. You may drive slower than the posted speed, but it is illegal to drive any faster. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit at a residential area is 1. 15 miles per hour. 2. 25 miles per hour. 3. 30 miles per hour. 4. 35 miles per hour. The answer is 2. 25 miles per hour. The maximum speed limit for passenger vehicles and motorcycles, unless posted otherwise, in a school, business, or residential zone is 25 miles per hour. If a school bus stops to load or unload children on a divided highway separated by a median or barrier, vehicles traveling in the opposite direction. 1. Are required to stop until the bus moves again. 2 are not required to stop. 3. Must stop, then drive with care. 4. Must pull onto the shoulder of the road and stop. The answer is 2. Are not required to stop. You do not have to stop if you are traveling in the opposite direction on a roadway with a median or barrier dividing the road and the buses on the opposite side of the median or barrier. If traffic lights at an intersection are not working all vehicles must. 1. Slow down to 25 miles per hour. 2. Stop and the driver on the right must yield to the driver on the left. 3. Stop and the driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. 4. Proceed with caution and go through the intersection. The answer is 3. Stop and the driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. If the traffic lights at an intersection are not working, all vehicles coming to the intersection must stop. The driver on the left must yield to the driver on the right. Drivers entering an interstate from an entrance ramp have the right of way. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. 
drivers entering an interstate from an entrance ramp must yield the right of way to traffic already on the highway. Use the 2, 3 and 4 second rule to determine if you are following far enough behind the vehicle ahead of you. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Use the 2, 3, and 4 second rule to determine if you are following far enough behind the vehicle ahead of you. When entering a roundabout. 1. Use your turn signal to indicate where you want to go. 2. Obey traffic signs and pavement markings. 3. Yield to traffic already in the circle. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Use your turn signals and, if you plan to turn right, stay to the right as you enter the roundabout. If you plan to go straight, you may stay in either lane, if it is a dual lane circular intersection. If you plan to turn left, stay to the left as you enter the roundabout. When approaching a stopped vehicle with flashing lights on a four-lane highway, you must change to a lane not next to the emergency vehicle, if you can change lanes safely. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. You must change to a lane not next to the emergency vehicle. If you can change lanes safely. If you are unable to safely change lanes, reduce your speed and proceed with caution. When approached by an emergency vehicle using sirens and or flashing lights, you must 1. Reduce your speed. 2. Continue at a safe speed. 3. Immediately yield the right of way, pull over to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. 4. Turn off the road at the next intersection. The answer is 3. Immediately yield the right of way, pull over to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. When police, fire and rescue vehicles or ambulances approach you from behind your vehicle using a siren, flashing lights or both, you must immediately yield the right of way. Safely pull over to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. You do not have to immediately yield the right of way when police or other emergency vehicles approach you from behind using flashing lights. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. When police, fire and rescue vehicles or ambulances approach you from behind your vehicle using a siren, flashing lights or both, you must immediately yield the right of way. Safely pull over to the right edge of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. You do not need to stop your vehicle for pedestrians attempting to cross a street. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Be alert for pedestrians at all times. Slow down and be prepared to stop. Drivers entering any intersection or roundabout must 1. Stop. 2. Speed up. 3. Sound your horn. 4. Yield to traffic while ready in it. The answer is 4. Yield to traffic while ready in it. Drivers entering any intersection or traffic circle must yield to traffic while ready in it. You may not park within how many feet of where fire trucks or equipment are stopped answering an alarm? 1. 300 feet. 2. 50 feet. 3. 250 feet. 4. 500 feet. The answer is 4. 500 feet. You may not park within 500 feet of where fire trucks or equipment are stopped answering an alarm when passing another vehicle. If you are still in the left lane when you reach the no passing zone, you are not breaking the law. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Complete the pass before you reach a no passing zone. If you're still in the left lane when you reach the zone, you're breaking the law. When you arrive at a roundabout, you must yield the right of way to traffic already in the circle. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When you arrive at the roundabout, yield the right of way to pedestrians and bicyclists. You also must yield to any vehicles already in the roundabout. You must not park your car. 1. Beside another parked vehicle, double parking. 2. On crosswalks or sidewalks. 3. In front of driveways. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. You may not park beside another parked vehicle, double parking, within 50 feet of a railroad crossing, or in front of driveways. When a pedestrian or bicyclist is crossing the street within a clearly marked crosswalk or unmarked intersection, you 1. Always yield the right of way to the pedestrian or bicyclist. 2. Proceed with care as the pedestrian is jaywalking. 
3. Reduce your speed and warn the pedestrian or bicyclist. 4. Sound your horn. The answer is 1. Always yield the right of way to the pedestrian or bicyclist. You must yield for pedestrians who are crossing a street within a clearly marked crosswalk or an unmarked intersection. Remember that turns on red are especially hazardous to pedestrians. When two vehicles from different directions arrive at the same time at an intersection with no signs or signals, the driver on the right must allow the driver on the left to go first. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. When two vehicles from different directions arrive at the same time at an intersection with no signs or signals, the driver on the left must allow the driver on the right to go first. When entering a roadway from a private road or driveway, you do not have to stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. When entering a roadway from a private road or driveway, you must stop and yield to all traffic and pedestrians. Before you change lanes, you should. 1. Give the proper turn signal. 2. Check your side and rear view mirrors and quickly glance over your shoulder. 3. Check for any vehicles that may be in your blind spot. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Before changing lanes, check your mirrors for traffic. Then, use your turn signal to indicate you plan to change lanes. Check for other drivers who also may be moving into the same lane. The correct hand signal for a right turn is 1. Right hand and arm pointing downward. 2. Right hand and arm pointing straight out. 3. Left hand and arm pointing downward. 4. Left hand and arm pointing upward. The answer is 4. Left hand and arm pointing upward. To signal for a right turn, use your left hand and arm pointing upward. When being passed, you should speed up. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. When being passed, don't speed up. Maintain a steady speed or slow down. You may pass a vehicle on the right if 1. You use the shoulder of the road. 2. The vehicle you are passing has signaled and is making a left turn. 3. The driver indicates that it is all right to pass. 4. You blow your horn and flash your headlights. The answer is 2. The vehicle you are passing has signaled and is making a left turn. You may pass on the right if the vehicle you are passing has signaled and is making a left turn. Turn your front wheels left while stopped and waiting to make a left turn. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Keep your front wheels pointed straight ahead until you are actually going to make the left turn. This prevents you from being pushed into oncoming traffic if another vehicle crashes into you from behind. If you are convicted of a demerit point traffic violation committed while under age 18, DMV will require that you complete a driver improvement clinic. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. If you are convicted of a demerit point traffic violation, or safety belt slash child restraint violation, committed when you were under age 18, DMV will require that you complete a driver improvement clinic. Conviction of any DUI offense involving a juvenile passenger in the vehicle at the time of the offense carries an additional 30-day mandatory jail term. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Conviction of any DUI offense involving a juvenile passenger, age 17 or younger, in the vehicle at the time of the offense carries an additional mandatory 5-day jail term plus all other fines and jail sentences. The passenger area includes any areas within a driver's reach, including an unlocked glove compartment. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Conviction of any DUI offense involving a juvenile passenger, age 17 or younger, in the vehicle at the time of the offense carries an additional mandatory 5-day jail term plus all other fines and jail sentences. When you plan to turn, you should signal 10 to 15 seconds ahead of your turn. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. You should signal at least 3 or 4 seconds, 100 feet, ahead of the turn. When passing a vehicle you should return to the right lane of the road when 1. You have sounded your horn. 2. The vehicle you have passed flashes its lights. 3. You can see the front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. 4. Another vehicle is also passing. The answer is 3.
you can see the front of the past vehicle in your rear view mirror. Return to the right lane as soon as you can see the front of the past vehicle in your rear view mirror. Before beginning to pass, you should 1. Drive up close behind the vehicle in front. 2. Check traffic ahead, behind, and in your blind spot and then signal. 3. Slow down so you will have more room to pass. 4. Sound the horn and put on your bright lights. The answer is 2. Check traffic ahead, behind, and in your blind spot and then signal. Check the traffic ahead of you, behind you and in your blind spot before you attempt to pass. Virginia law requires motorists to use headlights during inclement weather such as rain, fog, snow or sleet when visibility is reduced to 1. 250 feet 2. 750 feet 3. 500 feet 4. 1000 feet The answer is 3. 500 feet Virginia law requires motorists to use headlights during rain, fog, snow or sleet when visibility is reduced to 500 feet. You must use headlights whenever using windshield wipers as a result of bad weather. In business districts, cities and towns, U-turns are not allowed at intersections. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. In business districts, cities and towns, U-turns are allowed only at intersections. Never make a U-turn on a highway. Before you make a U-turn, you should check for no U-turn or no left turn signs. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. U-turns are not legal everywhere. Before you make a U-turn, check for no U-turn or no left turn signs. In business districts, cities and towns, U-turns are allowed only at intersections. Never make a U-turn on a highway. To make a U-turn at an intersection. 1. Turn on your left turn signal. 2. Stop and yield for approaching traffic. 3. When the way is clear. Proceed into the outside or right-hand lane traveling in the opposite direction. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. When making a U-turn, turn on your left turn signal, stop, and yield for approaching traffic. When the way is clear, proceed into the outside or right-hand lane traveling in the opposite direction. To make a right turn you. 1. Should be in the farthest lane from the curb and signal your intent to turn by using the proper turn signal. Two should signal your intent 500 feet ahead of the turn. 3. Should be in the center lane and signal your intent to turn by using the proper turn signal. 4. Should be in the lane closest to the curb and signal your intent to turn by using the proper turn signal. The answer is 4. Should be in the lane closest to the curb and signal your intent to turn by using the proper turn signal. To make a right turn you should be in the lane closest to the curb. Signal your intent to turn by using the proper turn signal. When two vehicles are approaching each other and signaling to turn left, both vehicles should turn in front of the other so that the passenger sides of the vehicles are beside each other. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When two vehicles are approaching each other and signaling to turn left, both vehicles should turn in front of each other so that the passenger sides of the vehicles are beside each other. Passing is unlawful and unsafe when a school bus is stopped to load or unload passengers on a public road, unless a physical barrier or unpaved median separates traffic going in either direction. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Passing is unlawful and unsafe when a school bus is stopped to load or unload passengers on a public road, unless a physical barrier or unpaved median separates traffic going in either direction, or on a private road. Passing is unlawful and unsafe on hills, curves, at intersections or railroad crossings, except on roads with two or more lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Passing is unlawful and unsafe on hills, curves, at intersections or railroad crossings, except on roads with two or more lanes of traffic moving in the same direction. When a vehicle is about to pass your vehicle, you must. 1. Maintain a steady speed or slow down. 2. Move to the left to prevent the car from passing. 3. Increase your speed. 4. Pull over to the right. The answer is 1. Maintain a steady speed or slow down. When being passed, don't speed up. Maintain a steady speed or slow down. It is unlawful and unsafe to pass. 1. Off the pavement or shoulder of the road. 2. When a solid line marks the left side of your lane. 
3. When a school bus is stopped to load or unload passengers on a public road, unless a physical barrier or median separates traffic. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Passing is unlawful and unsafe off the pavement or shoulder of the road, when a school bus is stopped to load or unload passengers on a public road, and when a solid line marks the left side of your lane. The hand signal shown with the left hand and arm pointing straight out signals your intent to stop. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. To signal for a slow or stop, use your left hand and arm pointing downward. You must not park your car. 1. Beside another parked vehicle, double parking. 2. On crosswalks or sidewalks. 3. In front of driveways. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. You may not park beside another parked vehicle, double parking, within 50 feet of a railroad crossing, or in front of driveways. When passing, you should return to the right lane as soon as you can see the front of the passed vehicle in your left side mirror. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Return to the right lane as soon as you can see the front of the passed vehicle in your rearview mirror. Most overcorrection crashes involve multiple vehicles. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Most overcorrection crashes are single vehicle crashes and are often preventable. Legally, drivers age 21 or older are considered to be driving under the influence, DUI, if your blood alcohol content, BAC, is 0.02%. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. If you are convicted of driving after illegally consuming alcohol, and your BAC was at least 0.02% and less than 0.08, the court penalty will include a suspension of your driving privilege for one year from the date of conviction, a minimum mandatory fine of $500, or the requirement that you complete at least 50 hours of community service. When you plan to change lanes, you should first give the proper turn signal. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Use your turn signal to let other drivers know you plan to change lanes. When driving on a multi-lane highway, you should stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than the traffic around you. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When driving on a multi-lane highway, stay in the right lane if you are driving slower than the traffic around you. You must use your headlights whenever you use your windshield wipers as a result of bad weather. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Virginia law requires motorists to use headlights during rain, fog, snow or sleet when visibility is reduced to 500 feet. Use headlights whenever using your windshield wipers as a result of bad weather. Towing a trailer places additional stress on the vehicle, it takes twice as long to. 1. Pass. 2. Stop. 3. Accelerate and turn. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Towing a trailer places additional stress on the vehicle. It takes the vehicle twice as long to pass, stop, accelerate and turn. When making a left turn, you must yield to any vehicles, bicycles, and pedestrians approaching from the opposite direction. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. When the way is clear, make the left turn and yield to any vehicles, including bicycles and pedestrians, approaching from the opposite direction. To prevent overcorrecting, the driver should 1. Remain alert. 2. Reduce speed and use extra caution while driving on curved roads. 3. Not panic if you veer off the road. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Reduce speed and use extra caution while driving on curved roads. If you veer off the road, curved or straight, do not panic. Gradually reduce your speed, look in the direction you want to go, slowly steer back onto the roadway. When making a right turn, you should turn from the lane closest to the curb into the lane farthest from the curb. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. To make a right turn you should be in the lane closest to the curb. Turn into the lane closest to the curb unless pavement markings indicate otherwise. To make a left turn, you should be in the furthest left lane possible. 1. True. 2. False. 
The answer is 1. True. To make a left turn you should be in the farthest left lane possible, turning into the leftmost lane on the intersecting road, unless multiple left lanes are provided. The road is more likely to be slippery when 1. The center lines have just been painted. 2. Pavement is dry on a hot day. 3. Rain begins, during the first half hour. 4. The road surface was recently paved. The answer is 3. Rain begins, during the first half hour. When rain begins, during the first half hour, roads are more likely to be slippery due to oil on the road surface mixing with water. Overcorrecting occurs when 1. The driver turns the steering wheel more sharply than expected, causing the rear wheels of the vehicle to slide toward the outside of the turn. 2. Other vehicles on the road swerve in and out of your blind spots. 3. Traffic is congested. 4. The driver slows down abruptly causing the driver behind to re-rend the vehicle. The answer is 1. The driver turns the steering wheel more sharply than expected, causing the rear wheels of the vehicle to slide toward the outside of the turn. Overcorrecting occurs when the driver turns the steering wheel more sharply than expected, causing the rear wheels of the vehicle to slide toward the outside of the turn. This may result in the loss of vehicle control. When does a driver need to change following distance? 1. At night. 2. At dawn or dusk. 3. When traffic is heavy. 4. When speed or road conditions change. The answer is 4. When speed or road conditions change. Road conditions, speed, driver alertness, and even following vehicles of different weights all change the ability to stop. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Road conditions, speed, driver alertness, and even following vehicles of different weights all change the ability to stop. Tailgating is when the driver behind you is following too closely. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Tailgating is when the driver behind you is following too closely. Your following distance should increase in the following situations except 1. Behind a motorcycle or bicycle. 2. In bad weather or heavy traffic. 3. When entering an expressway. 4. When exiting an expressway. The answer is 3. When entering an expressway. Decrease your following distance when entering an expressway. Mirrors give you a full view of everything behind you. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Mirrors do not give full view. To see as much as possible, turn your body and head to the right and look out through the rear window. Driving becomes hazardous when visibility is reduced or when the road surface is covered with rain, snow, or ice. Your first response should be 1. Reduce your speed. 2. Report the hazardous conditions to your local news station. 3. Pull over and let the storm pass. 4. Speed up to reach your destination quickly. The answer is 1. Reduce your speed. Driving becomes hazardous when visibility is reduced or when the road surface is covered with rain, snow or ice. Reducing your speed should be your first response to decreased visibility and dangerous road conditions. Bicycle Riders 1. Follow different laws than drivers of motor vehicles. 2. Should ride facing the traffic. 3. Are subject to many of the same laws as drivers. 4. Are expected to use the sidewalk. The answer is 3. Are subject to many of the same laws as drivers. Bicyclists are subject to many of the same laws as drivers. Before driving a vehicle with a light to medium trailer attached, you should ensure. 1. The pin securing the ball mount to the receiver is intact. 2. Safety chains are properly attached. 3. Brake lights, turn signals and license plate lights are functioning properly. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Ensure the pin securing the ball mount to the receiver is intact, the safety chains are properly attached, and brake lights, turn signals, and license plate lights are functioning properly. If a traffic light changes from red to green while a pedestrian is in the street. 1. Vehicles making turns have the right of way. 2. Allow the pedestrian to cross the street. 3. Vehicles coming from the right have the right of way. 4. Vehicles coming from the left have the right of way. The answer is 2. Allow the pedestrian to cross the street. Be especially aware of pedestrians when making a right or left turn. They have the right of way.
allow pedestrians to completely cross the street before beginning your turn. When can you drive beside a motorcyclist in the same lane? 1. Never. 2. When passing. 3. At night. 4. On narrow bridges. The answer is 1. Never. Never drive beside a motorcycle in the same lane. Driving in snow is similar to driving on dry pavement. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. Driving on packed snow is similar to driving on ice. When you brake, apply the brakes gently. Slow down before stopping or turning. To see as much as possible when backing up, you should turn your body and head to the right and look out through the rear window. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. The most common mistake that drivers make when backing up is failing to look both ways behind them. To see as much as possible, turn your body and head to the right and look out through the rear window. To prevent snow and ice from flying off your car when it is moving and creating a hazard for other motorists, you should remove it from 1. Your vehicle's roof and hood. 2. The rear of the vehicle. 3. Windows, mirrors, and front and rear lights. 4. All of the above. The answer is 4. All of the above. Remove snow and ice from the roof, hood and rear of the vehicle, before you start driving. Be sure to also clear all of your windows, mirrors, and front and rear lights of snow or ice. Often the actions of tired drivers are confused with drivers who had been drinking. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Often the actions of tired drivers are confused with drivers who had been drinking. The consequences can be just as fatal. If you refuse a breath test, your driving privilege will be automatically suspended. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. If you refuse a breath test or your BAC is .08 or higher while you are driving and law enforcement charges you with driving while under the influence of alcohol slash drugs, your driving privilege will be automatically suspended. Children age 12 and under are safer buckled up in the back seat. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Children age 12 and under are safer buckled up in the back seat. Dangerous driving behavior is harassing, intimidating, injuring or obstructing another person while committing one or more traffic offenses. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 1. True. Aggressive driving is dangerous driving behavior is defined by Virginia law as the intent to harass, intimidate, injure or obstruct another person while committing one or more traffic offenses such as failing to stop or yield the right of way, avoiding a traffic control device or failing to give way to an overtaking vehicle. Before engaging in distracting behavior. 1. Pull over and stop the vehicle at a safe location. 2. Increase your following distance. 3. Slow down. 4. Ask passengers to identify risks ahead. The answer is 1. Pull over and stop the vehicle at a safe location. Before engaging in distracting behavior, pull over and stop the vehicle in a safe location. All children under one age must be properly secured in a child safety seat or booster seat when riding in vehicles manufactured after January 1, 1968. 1. 5. 2. 10. 3. 12. 4. 8. The answer is 4. 8. All children under age 8 must be properly secured in a child safety seat or booster seat when riding in vehicles manufactured after January 1, 1968. You may be charged with drinking while operating a motor vehicle if 1. You have an open container of alcohol in the passenger area, the contents have been partially removed, and you show signs that you have been drinking. 2. Your passengers are visibly intoxicated. 3. You drive slower than the speed limit. 4. You have unopened containers of alcohol in the trunk of the vehicle. The answer is 1. You have an open container of alcohol in the passenger area, the contents have been partially removed, and you show signs that you have been drinking. The single biggest contributor to crashes is 1. Not being seen by other drivers. 2. Driving too fast. 3. Failing to identify risk. 4. Driving too slow. The answer is 3. Failing to identify risk. The single biggest contributor to crashes is failing to identify a risk. Look down the road, to the sides, and behind your vehicle. Be alert for unexpected events, 
and use your headlights at night and when it's hard to see. If your license is suspended, you can still drive to and from work. 1. True. 2. False. The answer is 2. False. If your license is suspended, your privilege to drive has been withdrawn temporarily. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share our channel. Please let me know if you more video like this one.